All right, I'm back with a fully charged GoPro battery. I'm gonna show y'all what we ended up getting from Academy. And I'm changing my mind on the swim baits because I ended up putting them up to the baits and they were way too big. I ended up getting these. I found these, these big bite baits. It's like a dark grayish silver top, white bottom with chartreuse swirl through it. And then I'm going to do a, a cheap Wahoo spinner bait versus an expensive white with a little bit of chartreuse booyah spinner bait. I went ahead and picked me up a white half ounce chatter bait. That would be all for what I got. Alright, now I got my reel all lubed up, cleaned up. Spinner bait tied on. The little kicker swim bait. That thing is looking mean. And that's the cheap one. I'm going to go ahead and fish the cheap spinner bait first. Probably about 30 minutes to an hour. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw on this booyah with the exact same cane thumper swim bait. See if we can't compare them. We're going to try to see if we can slay us some big ones. It's all about the consistency. We we'll keep fishing, bound to catch a big one. This is the cheap versus expensive spinner bait video. We're gonna put it to the test today. We're walking to what I call the elusive pond. I got my lucky golf ball ready. I'm here with my girlfriend in the back. We're gonna slay some fish today. So, oh God, I just stepped in a big hole. So my plan is fish the $2 spinner bait, 30 minutes to an hour. Switch it up to a Booyah spinner bait, exact same trailer, almost practically the exact same color. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it to the test. Stay. We're approaching the elusive pond. This is what that $2 spinner bait looks like. That trailer on there. Doesn't look too bad. I think it'll produce a good amount of fish today. My honest hypothesis before this video is finished, I honestly think that they're gonna compete about the exact same but just the more expensive lure is just gonna look better honest opinion but we're gonna put it to the test I don't know how tight my pole is oh it is loose it is loose Try to let the bait sink a little bit. Whew, I don't even know the last time I even had fluorocarbon on this pole. Oh yeah, bitch. Got one. Oh my. God, <laughs> I just flipped him way onto the bank. That is on the cheap $2 spinner bait. Good hook set. Right on the outside of the mouth. He crushed that swim bait. He even moved the skirt on it. So that's one downside to it. Caught one fish, the skirt slipped off the head. That's all I can really say about it. Aggressive little fish. Looks like he has blood on his uh, back fin. And he's protecting the bed, maybe. Nice little fish. Oh, he just behind me. At least this 
so get him on back in there. Thank you for the picture. We'll get back to fishing. That is on this $2 Wahoo spinnerbait. Hypothesis for this challenge is already kind of answered. You never know. She's throwing a white booyah right now. And I'm throwing the white Wahoo and I already hooked up the one. I don't know if that little bit of chartreuse is going to help catch. You never really know. But the way this little $2 spinnerbait spins in the water, I like it. If somebody just handed them both to me, I could definitely tell one was higher quality. But there wouldn't be one that I would just be like, yeah, I'm not going to fish that. That just looks like it's not going to work. Loosen it up one more notch. Like, I just want to slowly pull it. They're in the middle right there. Get out in the middle, babe. Skimming that ball on top of the water. That is the second one on this little spinnerbait. See this little spinnerbait honestly is gonna kinda aggravate me. The skirt looks to be like it slides down each time. No way this is the same fish. Let's say it almost looked like the exact same fish. Hook set right in the top of the lip. Skirt slid down again. Fish are nice and fat. Got them a nice little fat stomach. As of that release just now I've only been recording for nine minutes with a two dollar center bait and my reel does feel a lot cleaner since I've got it oh you got one if your drag slips like that I don't think that was a nibble that was a full-on bite cast right back out there in the middle again they like it right there that i wish i had like i said i wish i had some type of bobber or something that was out there some type of camera that we could see the type of structure that's out there so two fish and both times the spinnerbait skirt has slid down so that is definitely a negative oh Almost the exact same area. We can't find that little bed that's out in the middle somewhere. I think there's just some like grass out in the middle or some type of like structure.
was just literally about to say I'm giving it two more casts. Oh my god! Oh my god, stay down. Might be the one I've been looking for. It feels nice. No. No. Oh, three, three, is that a four? Oh my God. Ah, that is my PB. Oh, that is my PB for sure. Making a three and a half pounder. Oh, I was just about to switch up. Best spinner bait I ever bought in my life. Two dollars for that thing. Can you help me get the scale out my bag? Two dollars. That is the big mama I've been talking about. Look at this fish. Man. We had my rod, man. That was a good thing. I'm gonna turn my back to anybody. I don't want anybody to see my secret fishing spot. <laughs> three, seven, almost three and a half. Get a reweight on those guys. Three seven. Let's get another weight on him. Wait, what is it doing? I hate this guy. Three seven and one fourth. <sighs> what a tank. Oh, that sucks. I wanted to see the four pounder in here. But man, is that a thick fish. Whew. And that is on the $2 spinner bait. And luckily, this time, the skirt didn't come up. Oh man, we are getting some pictures and a beautiful release on this guy. Let me get him some more water because I, I don't want to hurt these big fish. Get a load of that on the two dollar spinner bay. I don't think you can really see it. We ain't even been fishing for 25 minutes. And I've done landed my PV. Three pounds. Whew, that was an amazing fish. Woo! That was an amazing fish. I'm gonna go ahead and switch spinner base and we can pair next few fish on the next Booyah spinner bait. Let's get it. Half ounce spinner bait, white with chartreuse. Yeah, I could definitely tell by just messing with this one already. The quality is way higher, the hook's bigger, it has a bait stop on it. Just a few things I already noticed. The hook looks like a whole five lot.
Oh, that's better. Looks good. Let's get our tile in here. I got this fluorocarbon. I don't have that bright monofilament, maybe. Man, does this booyah look way higher quality? I just slammed basically that three and a half pounder. This bait just looks better. Let's see if we can't get this to four pounder. Let's see what we could do first cast. Oh man, that had my heart racing. I seen that fish's first jump. And what's crazy is this fish in this pond acts so weird because I've had some of the smaller ones pull in the opposite direction stronger. But he just gave a tougher like muscle build. Like it was harder to just pull him through the water. But at the same time, he wasn't like pulling. This is where cops came and stopped me because I was parked in front of a fire hydrant, but luckily they were nice and they just let me go without giving me a ticket. Back here, I want to try to make this spinnerbait thing still as fair as possible by getting out there on the fish enough time. They were cool. Whoo. Because of the cops are waiting at my vehicle. But I fished that other one for about 30 minutes. A little about 25 minutes. Got three fish. So I'm gonna try to do the same for this spinner bait. Oh my, why did he just hit that? God. Why is he pulling like he is? This little guy, I swear, feels like he's pulling harder than that other one. I don't know how he hit that. Oh, I should not That's why he felt harder. Look, he just got a mouthful of mud trying to eat that spinner bait. Do y'all see that? This fish just got a mouthful of mud eating my spinner bait. He's the skinniest fish I, I seen come out of here. Look at, oh man, I hooked set him and it hit his eye. I feel bad now. Hope his eyes are right. <sighs> Try to pick this GoPro mount up so y'all can see me release him. He's gonna be feisty, I think. Woo! I knew it. Especially after that hook set. <laughs> I knew he was going to be fired up. The way he just smashed that. He ripped my swim bait all the way. Where are you at, fishy, fishy? Get you some casts over here, baby. I want to watch you try to reel in one of them monsters. What would you do if you caught you one of them? My bag gonna freak out.
I do like it out here. Early is peaceful until the mosquitoes come out. Keeps his head down. Don't have a problem with that. Ooh, he come up with it all though. He kept his head down, but when he came up, he was coming up. Oh, I got him on that good hook set. Again, right in the top of the face. Whew. I'm gonna have to check the timing on these two baits. What I've noticed between the first two fish on this booyah and the two fish on that wahoo this skirt for the spinner bait has not slid down once it has stayed still stayed in the same position so in quality terms booyah definitely has it right now Feisty little fish. I was gonna be like, oh, is that gonna be the first fish I caught here that doesn't jump out the water? Chomp. <laughs> well, I found what they biting on now. They like that slow, moderate speed. Still got the Booyah spinner bait tied on. I'm gonna just cast a few times in this pond because it was on the way back to the car. <laughs> Look at that turtle right there. Oh, he went under. That is on that Booyah Jay. This is probably my second, third cast in this pond. Man, look at the luck on that. This is another fat fish. I'd say a two pounder. I need my rod snap. That's definitely gonna be the Booyah's biggest fish. Whoo, that hook set was not too, too good. He come out of nowhere. It was all right. Definitely good enough to put him on the board. Could you grab that scale out for me, please? Caught that fish in there, huh? Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, that's, that's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Let me see it. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. beautiful. It is a really pretty fish. All the fish in here are really healthy. Yeah, you know, and I got to tell you something. I, out of these ponds back here, I pulled out uh, two five gallon. That was just me. Because mm -hmm. when they emptied these ponds for the hurricanes, there were balls everywhere. They only <laughs> emptied them like once every two or three years. And so we were walking right from one side to the other. They didn't have no water in here. I don't know how those fish survive. That is crazy. It's amazing. I tell you what, if you catch that here, you're going in back ponds, and ain't no telling what you're going to catch. How many pounds? Two pounds, nine ounces. You going to keep him? Nah. I, I always like to catch and release. Yeah. 
you know, I got I got some property across the lake. And they took him out, and got, I think they uh, wildlife and fishers came and got him and took him out. We just got us a beautiful one on the Booyah spinnerbait again. We're just gonna go ahead and release this guy. Oh. Two pounds, nine ounces. All right, so I already made my outro, but now I'm gonna put my outro here and show y'all the third fish that I caught on Booyah. In weight total, I'd say, to go back and look, but I wanna say they about evened each other out, the fish that we caught, and all around a good day fish are loving the spinner baits this time of year i'm having fun catching them y'all stay tuned for more awesome content all right so that's gonna wrap up today's video even though when i get up to this pond up here i'm gonna take a few casts but this spinner bait definitely has quality over the other spinner bait the cheaper two dollar spinner bait i wouldn't say outperformed definitely caught bigger fish and i would just honestly if i were to pick i would pick the cheaper spinner baits all day long over the six dollar ones it just isn't worth it to me i'd rather just stick to the two dollar ones that is gonna wrap up today's video if y'all enjoyed be sure to leave a thumbs up hit that subscribe if you're new make sure to turn your post notification on for more outdoor content i'm dynamic fishing tv y'all have an amazing day